All right, what's up, guys? Um, it's Eagle Fifty Two here, and today we're gonna be uh, we're gonna be teaching you how to well how I rig a net bait pocket craw. Um, what you're gonna need for the I'm gonna explain the way I rig it, and the way I rig it is an internal weighting system, not regular Texas rig. But what you're gonna need for this video is um. Well, at least this is what I use. You can use what you want, but I'm going to explain what you need if you want to rig it my way. You're going to need a regular pack car. I like the color June Bug. It's a good color for where I use it. And I live in um, Illinois. so. And then I prefer a 316 sound bullet weight. You can go whatever you want, but that's just an all around good size, I think. And then what I use is a 5 out Zoom frog hook it adds these screws in them as you can see this one has it in it and it looks it looks good on it it's a good it's like a good size hook for the bait all right start out rigging this what you're going to want to do is if you look at the pocket craw pocket craw is hollow you can see this that chamber it's its body is hollow so what you're gonna want to do is don't lick the weight you can like lick your finger and then spread it on the weight because the weight is lead and that can cause cancer but what you want to do is take your bullet weight like so and just put it in shove it in the pocket craw and slide it up Slide it up all the way to the top, past this little rivet, like body connection section in the pocket crop. Past it too until you get like right there. And as you can see, it makes the pocket crop a bit more bulky with these two, but. I, just, I like that because it gives it more like a bigger appearance so then you have that you have your internally weighted pocket craw and then if you got the hook I've got you want to take it and it's a screw in hook and just screw it in the bait at the top of course screw it in all the way until it's like that and then take it and usually what I'll do is as you can see there's a little line in the pot craw I'll hook it through there and then come out the other side and that'll, that way I'll know it's straight and it's not lined like hooked crooked or anything measure it up so measure it up pull it through and then you'll end up looking like that push it up and then pull the plat pull the pack craw forward and just hook your bait underneath like the plastic skim it under the plastic so there's the hook and it's just it can't get snagged guys that is how I rig my pocket craws as you can see there and you would just tie that on the line or if you have a quick release just hook that on the line but and it's completely flawless there's not no weight banging on your knot or anything I just like this because I think it's a better style and that's how I rig my pot cross if you guys got any questions just send me a message or just leave a comment in the box 
down below. I'll try to get to you. I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. Um, thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. See you guys. Eagle 52 is out.